Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today, I am doing my Throwback Thursday movie special. And the movie I have chosen to review for you guys is 1993's The Good Son. Uh, this is a psychological thriller. It was released on September 24th, 1993 to mix reviews with critics and fans. On Cinema Score, it has an average grade of a B. It has a 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb, a 26% on Rotten Tomatoes, and an 87% on Google. Despite the low 26% on Rotten Tomatoes, on a $17 million budget, it made $60.6 .6 million at the box office. And this movie was directed by Joseph Rubin and written by Ian um, McEwen. And this movie stars Elijah Wood, Macaulay Culkin, Wendy Crewson, David Morse, Daniel Kelly, Quinn Culkin, Rory Culkin, and Ashley Crow. And this movie is about young Mark, played by Elijah Wood, whose mother has just passed away. So he and his father go to Maine. Um, uh, main reason there is... Mark will be staying there through the winter break while his dad is on business. He'll be staying with his uh, cousins, um, uh, Henry and uh, Connie. Uh, and in this um, family, uh, Richard uh, was uh, uh, died of... Uh, what they thought was uh, just natural, uh, just an accident, basically. And um, we come to find out later in this movie that that wasn't the case. Uh, but Mark meets uh, his cousin, Henry, and everyone, and he gets to be uh, real comfortable there at first. Everything's nice and pleasant. Uh, but eventually, young Henry, played by Macaulay Culkin, um, starts to show his dark side uh he's he's mean to animals uh shoots them uh with his homemade weapons uh throws stuff off of uh, a bridge to cause an accident um and we we come to find out later in the movie that uh, he was responsible for his young brother's death because he was jealous he, he's not the center of attention anymore and it's the same thing with connie his sister he takes it out of her. He tries everything he can to uh, rid himself of uh, his younger sister. Uh, all the while, young Mark starts to stick up for her and starts to take on Henry. Um, but what happens is, is Henry is so slick is he gets his parents to believe that it's actually Mark that is the problem and is doing all these dangerous things and um, yeah it's it's one hell of a twist um, in that when he gets his parents to believe that uh, in this movie uh, a lot of the, the critics problems with this movie mainly was because Macaulay Culkin was cast in this role after he had just done the Home Alone movies and Uncle Buck and, you know, this movie is not meant for kids, although Macaulay Culkin is a young star coming off those funny movies. And they, they thought it was just a, a bad idea for him to do this movie uh, because of his image from Home Alone. And in my opinion, and I love the Home Alone movies and everything, and Uncle Buck, but this is the kind of movie that I was really excited to see because we get to see a different side of Macaulay Culkin in that we get to see him do something outside the realm of just comedy and in my opinion he nailed this role this was phenomenal in my opinion I think it's uh, one of his better performances out of anything he's ever done um, he was so dark and twisted and mean and uh, just manipulative and it was perfect in this movie. And Elijah Wood, to be the nice kid cousin, uh, to play off that and go against him, 
was perfect. And the ending to this movie, which we'll get to here a little later, uh, is freaking phenomenal. Um, and uh, uh, but getting back to these characters, you know, we, we see uh, Henry just, you know, develop into uh, a real psychopath. He, he just uh, just snaps and just goes off uh, and starts taking it out. He takes it out on everybody. And uh, yeah, he plays one hell of a character in this movie. Uh, I love the performances. Um, the story is fantastic. And I really wish we would have got some more movies like this uh, from Macaulay Culkin. Not so much, you know, the psychological thrillers, but, you know, uh, maybe maybe a slasher movie or, um, you know, a, a dark comedy, a drama, an action movie even, I think would have been great, you know? Because uh, I really like to see what he could do. I know, I really think he could do anything, but I would like to see it on film. Uh, but The Good Son, in my opinion, is very underrated, and it doesn't get a lot of, um, uh, it doesn't get talked about a lot uh, as far as some of the, the better psychological thrillers, in my opinion. Not a lot of people bring it up. A lot of people you know, probably even forgot about it. But for me personally, this was one of my favorite movies of 1993. And I gotta say, like I said, Nicole Culkin gave a, a hell of a performance. And you could tell he was really enjoying this role as, as he put everything into it. And uh, getting to the ending of this movie, and this is a spoiler, if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want to hear the spoiler, mute the review. And when I'm done with the spoiler, I'll give the camera a thumbs up so you can unmute it. All right, so you've been warned. Here comes the spoiler. At the end of this movie, we find ourselves with um, Henry's mother with two options, or actually one choice, but there's two options. Uh, both Henry and Mark are hanging off the side of the cliff. She has a hold of both the kids, uh, one in each arm. And she has to decide which one she wants to let go and save the other one. Now, naturally, you think she would save uh, her own son. But after leaving Mark and seeing what uh, he was trying to do, because he even tried to actually kill his own uh, mother, and she decides at the end that he's just too rotten and too evil and she lets him go and he falls to his death and she saves Mark. And uh, yeah, that's the ending we get. And I, I just, I loved, loved that ending. Uh, kind of reminds me of the movie uh, Sophie's Choice. Now, um, I haven't seen that movie. Uh, I believe it's a Meryl Streep movie. Correct me if I'm wrong or let me know if I'm right. But I haven't seen it, but I heard there's a choice she's got to make. And uh, I'm thinking that's probably the same thing we got here. But uh, yeah, this this movie is very underrated. Um, I still watch it at least once a year, and I, I just love it. I I can't get enough of it. And I really wish um, uh, Macaulay would have done some more of these roles, especially early on. I mean, he was great. Um, I really hope he gets back into acting. Uh, because I know he's got the chops for it and everything, and I just I hope he gets a shot. Uh, but as far as this movie goes, I gave The Good Son a uh, nine out of ten and two thumbs up. And yeah, it, that's I, I'm going to stick with it, of course. Uh, my only little nitpicks here and there is one: the movie wasn't, in my opinion, wasn't long enough. I, I wanted at least a two-hour movie. Um, and uh, I wanted some more development with some of the other characters, especially the little sister. And I really wanted to see maybe some flashback scenes with what happened to Richard or what actually happened to Richard. Um, but outside of that, though, this movie is phenomenal. So if you haven't seen The Good Son, definitely check it out. But uh, there you have it for another Throwback Thursday movie review. In the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions on this movie. And do you agree with me? Do you think it's underrated? Do you think it's overrated? Do you think it's okay? Let me know and let's have a great discussion about this movie. 
But other than that, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And if you like this review, hit that like button and then share this review on your social media as you see fit to. I would love to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That is my goal. But please do all you can. It's free. Hit the subscribe button. And let's have a great conversation about movies. And if there's ever a top 10, a ranking, or movie review you would like for me to do on my channel, let me know in the comment section below, and I will definitely do that for you guys. But I appreciate you guys watching, and check you later.